Okay guys, we are back out here at the bees and guess what? We officially have at least 80% of our... Four more. 80% <laughs> or more of one of the hives full of honey. So it is time for us to go ahead and add the queen excluder in another box. So we wanted to go ahead and show you what we're doing here because this is a complete learning experience for us. We have Owen over here on the, the smoker, keeping that going. Kyle uh, went and upgraded and got some new bee gloves instead of trying to uh, <laughs> tape, tape other his other ones up all the time. And I'm gonna stay like way over here because I'm sick of getting bit by bees, like stung, stung by bees. Like I, I got stung earlier too. Yep, Owen got stung on the ankle this time. Yep, they were looking at the blue one. So here goes Kyle, putting on my favorite color, yellow. He got that from Bee Weaver. Okay, Owen, like I think you need to go over there. I'll, I'll come get it. Oh, to okay, that. stay over there. So, and we're gonna be doing it on the the reddish orange box, the peach box. That's the one that we're gonna be adding. Then we got another. See, one we have the blue. the opener. We don't have the, this one has a minimizer, the opener for the minimizer. Over here we don't. I'm going to have to check these a little more as well. Okay. So you feel free to talk, Kyle. Oh, feel free to talk? Yep. Yeah, Owen and I came out and checked the blue one earlier. We started to check this one, and he got stung on the ankle, so we just went ahead and they're laying uh, the, we the queen bee sling eggs. And I saw that they were more than 80% on um, all the frames. So we took and ran the, ran the bee weaver. Got us a new box of frames. And the queen bee sling eggs. Yep, yep. The queen bee is laying lots of eggs. So we got lots of big bees. Kyle's tool. The lid was getting stuck to the the frames. Mm -hmm. So then we had to use that thing, the, the crowbar thing. And Kyle has learned to stand in the back of the <laughs> uh, the of bee box. Yep. Wow. It looked like you almost dropped it. So right now he's just kind of looking for the queen again. She um. This is mainly honey. Okay, that one's honey. Oh yeah, and he dropped the what's it called frame. Like it's. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so it didn't make them very happy. So. She's just really trying to make them mad, huh? Yeah, I'm really trying to pick them off today. Yeah, and um. He he. We did the pump thing around me, and they still stung me on my ankle, so. Mm. You only got stung once. You know what it feels like. Mommy, you only got stung once or yeah. twice. Yep, I've gotten stung twice. Once on the forehead and once on the back of my head, up in my hair. It sucks. I'm still, like, picking my scab. All right, and you can tell this one's cool. Holy cow. Look at that. Yeah, that is amazing. We didn't find the queen bee though. We found the queen Now is that bee where they're laying eggs or is that honey? Well, over on this one. Oh, I see honey. Stuff. Yep. And at the bottom, I can't tell if there's any. That might be some brood or that could be uh, some, just some nectar. I'll find one that's got more of the stuff in the area. More eggs and stuff. We found the 
found the cream. We found the queen bee in the blue box. That's my name. That's a funny. We got you a, a um what's it called charm a bee charm. Yep, I got the queen bee charm. I need to add to my bracelet. When's the last time you checked these? Uh, probably two weeks ago. Okay. Two weeks schedule. Schedule. Gosh. So if you look on here, all that in the center towards the bottom, that's all brood. Okay. So that's where the larva and the baby bees are. Okay. I know you're kind of a bit away. I can you see can it. You can see the larva in some of these uncapped cells that the bees are working on capping. Mommy. Hmm. Um. I I I saw a baby bee was getting out. Oh, like he was trying to get out. Oh, cool! Yeah, but like Daddy the... found it first. So. Awesome. Yeah, maybe eventually I'll get myself a bee suit. There's the queen. I see her. Okay, awesome. Yep. So she's doing good. So I think what I'm gonna do is instead of looking at the rest, you're just gonna leave them. I'm just gonna put these back. Put the queen excluder in. Make sure you don't drop any. Put the new box on. Because in everything that we're reading, do we don't you? need to do anything with the honey that's in this box because that is going to be their honey. Yep, this first year it's their honey to get them through the winter months. Then the third oh, box is going to be our honey. Yeah, our honey. Yep, next year we can start extracting honey from the hives, which will be a whole nother learning experience. Yep, we'll have to figure out, we'll have to get with the Waller County Master Gardeners, because I think they have all of the stuff to be able to extract the honey. Yeah, and I think we can just borrow it. Or we could ask, um, what's her name at Carl's? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Remember oh, yeah, she remember. does beads? Yeah, okay. but I don't think she does it anymore. So to keep the queen in this box, because she's bigger than all of the bees, supposedly, she cannot get through this size that is perforated in this little sheet here. So... What we're going to do is we're going to lay this. Then we're going to put the other between. box on. And then, go ahead and move this stuff. We're going to put this over the queen excluder. Put our new box on. Make sure it's lined up. Okay, all looks good. Ten more frames for them to put honey in. Hey, you want to show them what a normal frame looks like? Oh, yep, hold on. Let me put the top, top board down. Sorry, I just thought it'd be cool to look at, seeing how they saw how the other full the other ones were. Yep, these are what the frames with foundation from Bee Weaver look like. They got a wax foundation on them. So it's already kind of started with some wax. Awesome. So yeah, I've got ten. So now they have a two-story house. Now they got a two-story house. <laughs> and they still have a one-story house. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yep. So we got the two-story and the one-story. Yeah. Well, it's because th those flew off, so like they would have been. And we put the bricks on top um, for in case storms roll through, like we had a few weeks ago. Um, that way they won't blow over and the hive won't get disturbed. And babe, you, you put the wrong brick on there. Did I? Yeah. I sure did, didn't I? That's okay. Just make sure you put one on the other. <laughs> Here, I'll switch it back. Then. Okay. Yep. Yep. 
And now we got a. There we go. There we go. Now we're Everything now they're both secure. Right the now. Yay! Now we have a two-story bee house. Got our two-story bee house. All right. Well, thank you for watching.